Hold on tight as we uncover the intriguing stories of three idols who've been accused of riding on their old group's coattail. Brace yourself for scandals, controversies, and a closer look at the true pioneers and mere passengers in the dynamic realm of K-pop stardom. In K-pop, we've witnessed countless idols embark on solo ventures or join new groups after bidding farewell to their original stardom. While some idols manage to spread their wings and soar to new heights, there are a handful who seem to be clinging to the fame and success of their former group. So in today's video, let's see if these idols really take advantage of their former act's reputation or just simply hitch the ride. Number 1. Ginny, formerly Enmix Though Enmix is still pretty much in its infancy, the act has already faced a handful of difficulties, and the most detrimental until now remains Ginny's exit from Enmix all of a sudden. People have been throwing around theories like crazy, suggesting everything from a fallout with the company to the group's concept not clicking with fans. However, the most credited one revolves around poor Jenny not getting the attention she deserved, most probably leading to her unresolvable frustration toward JYP Entertainment and her own group. As if that wasn't enough to stir up the K-pop community, Jenny made waves by creating an Instagram account last March 18, stirring speculation on her return to the K-pop scene. What raised eyebrows most was how it coincided with Enmix's comeback with the EP Expergo on the 20th. Adding to the T, her username Ginny XXN, which shared similarities to a certain extent with the letters in Enmix, was also said to be a calculated move in an attempt to ride on Enmix's coattail. Although many dismissed the overlap as a simple coincidence, Ginny's recent actions have only fueled further speculation about her motives. Just a few days ago, she unexpectedly appeared on a live stream and also created a Twitter account. Of course, it's hard to say for certain what her real intention was, but one thing is clear. Jenny's moves have further fueled the criticism that she has been leveraging Enmix's reputation, calculating every new move to be in sync with the act's comeback for the sake of enjoying the same heat. Number 2. Jessica, formerly SNSD so, there have been some seriously weird and questionable moments involving Jessica and her former group SNSD, but now it has seemingly gotten to the point where fans just can't come up with any excuses for her behavior anymore. Let's start with the time she pulled a total surprise move. Back in September 2014, SNSD had this event planned in Shenzhen to meet fans, but only eight members arrived at the airport. While fans were scratching their head as to where Jessica was, she was seen on Weibo hinting she had been kicked out of the group by the other members. On the same day, SM Entertainment confirmed that Jessica was no longer part of the group. Then, drama followed drama. The first incident making people suspect Jessica's trying to ride on SNSD's coattail was in December 2014, when SNSD was celebrating their epic performance at Tokyo Dome with a whopping 50,000 fans. But Jessica was seen deleting all the group photos from her social media. In July 2015, Taeyeon decided to take legal action against her haters and soon after that, Jessica was spotted posting a picture on Instagram captioned, what goes around comes around. Obviously, she was totally stirring the pot and it didn't sit well with Taeyeon's fans or the SNSD fandom in general. Fast forward to September 2015, exactly one year after she left the group, Jessica's brand Blanc and Declare decided to offer a discount with the code Jessica because. Now that's just shady. People couldn't help but see it as a direct reference to her departure and the whole drama with her ex-groupmates. And people who used to side with her also gradually reconsidered their choice. When Tiffany was about to debut solo, Jessica announced her comeback to the music scene after two years. Just a week after Tiffany releases her first solo project, Jessica also dropped her own debut MV. But here's where things really hit the fan. On August 15, 2016, Tiffany unintentionally gets caught up in a major controversy. She posts a photo with a sticker featuring the rising sun flag, which stirs up some heated debate on Korea's Independence Day. Surprisingly, on the same day, Jessica shared a picture of herself with the caption, I love Seoul, like a little jab at Tiffany's scandal right then and there. There are even more incidents where Jessica posted stuff on social media that seemingly poked fun at her former group. 
For example, this time, some were really mad about how she had to go and post a picture questionably captioning, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. On the very same day, three other members officially parted ways with SM Entertainment. Then, she was seen making a comeback with an MV that feels like a follow-up to SNSD's journey. On August 5, 2017, SNSD confirmed the return with two catchy tracks, Holiday and All Night, as they celebrated their incredible 10-year anniversary. Soon, Jessica also announced her own comeback project, marking her own 10-year milestone. Surprisingly, Jessica's teaser dropped around the same time as SNSD's comeback, and some fans noticed similarities between between her MV for Summer Storm and the vibe of All Night. It's like a continuation of the party. So, there was also this controversial ad. Here's the deal. Some former SM trainees joined entertainment shows and introduced themselves as almost members of SNSD. Then, on November 29, 2019, Taeon came out swinging to defend her fellow members, basically saying the members had been together from start to finish, and no one got the right to say they were almost a piece of SNSD, as the act wasn't a bus where people could just hop on and off whenever they wanted. Okay, now let's talk about Jessica. About six months later, she dropped a promotional video for Revolve. It featured a bus with nine people, including Jessica. After opening her eyes wide and having a sneak peek of the world beyond the bus windows, she questioned why everyone has to be the same, why they have to assign labels to each other, and why they have to live according to someone else's script. And then, in a funny twist, she quickly pressed the button to get off the bus, and the driver reminded reminded her that once she gets off, she can't come back. Jessica just smirked and walked away. Well, that video stirred up some controversy because it seemed like Jessica was playfully poking at Taeyeon's earlier statement. Most recently, it has also been quite a buzz when Jessica released her first novel, Shine, on September 30th. The timing was uncanny since it was the same day she left SNSD way back then. She also dropped her second novel, Bright, on the exact same day SNSD made their comeback. No matter where you stand on the matter, you have to admit that it created quite a stir. Jessica knows how to keep people talking, and her novels became the hot topic of the moment. It's fascinating to see how a simple release date can ignite so much excitement and controversy. Number 3. Don Pentagon In 2016, Don was dating Huna and risking his own future by going against Cube Entertainment's order to keep everything in the dark. Due to the intense tension, in 2018, Cube Entertainment announced that Don would be leaving Pentagon for personal reasons. But of course, people knew what that meant. Don's departure from Pentagon has deemed a slap to many fans, as his dating news was a detrimental hit putting an end to Pentagon. And the group was so desperate that the member Hui had to join a survival show most recently, while Pentagon was once deemed the new hope of Cube Entertainment. The moment that really got fans worked up was when Huna decided to share those lovey-dovey photos on the exact same day as Pentagon's second debut anniversary October 10, 2021. It left fans scratching their heads and wondering what exactly Don was thinking when letting Huna hit that upload button as the main cause shattering the whole career of Pentagon, and has always been said to be him and his relationship. They also wondered why he had to ride on the axe coattail till the end, while all that was left was Pentagon's reputation as the rookie idol group with three dating scandals in one day. After this, Don was also criticized for being in a selfish relationship that costs too many people too much and some even wished him a flop career for good. Do you think these idols were really leveraging their former act's reputation? Or netizens have been blowing this out of proportion from mere coincidences?